Honey, where is my YouTube account? Where is my YouTube account? I need it. I need it to review the incredible. Oh, okay, got it. Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Series here, and welcome back to another movie review. And today, I am going to be doing a review on The Incredibles. So The Incredibles is the uh, sixth uh, Pixar film to release, uh, and it came out in the year uh, 2004, uh, aka my uh, birthday year. And uh, happy, by the way, uh, happy uh, early uh, 20th anniversary to this film. Uh, even though uh, it it doesn't, even though it's technically on November, um, and it's uh, directed by Brad Bird, uh, who are uh, who uh, previously directed the Iron Giant, and also directed uh, films like uh, its sequel, uh, Mission Impossible: Ghost Protocol, and Tomorrowland, and uh, and it stars Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, Sarah Vow- Sarah Vowell, uh, Spencer Fox, Jason Lee. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Elizabeth Pena, uh, Eli Fusile, uh, Brad Bird, uh, Teddy Newton, uh, Bud L- Lucky, uh, L- Low Romano, uh, um, etc. Oh yeah, Michael Bird, uh, John Ratzenberger, uh, etc. And so, um, the film tells the story of uh, of a uh, Bob. The film tells the story of Bob Parr, uh, who has uh, given up his superhero days uh, to long in time as an insurance uh, adjuster and raises three children with his formerly heroic wife in uh, her- in sur- suburbia, uh, na- uh, no, um, Helen Parr. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, superheroes uh, become illegal and uh, become illegal because of your uh, shit that went down uh, early on in the film when... Uh, the superhero when Bob and Helen were trying to uh, save your people uh, and apparently uh, people believe that, that, that superheroes are actually a danger uh, and they're actually the reason why more criminals are are coming in and doing what they do uh, and so uh, that's when uh, they retire uh, as years go by uh, Bob is um, Bob is you know, um Bamiyo goes on a, a secret mission uh, hired by uh, this uh, mysterious na- lady named Mirage uh, hired to uh, go to a secret uh, island which is actually a facility at, in order to you know, fa- face some um, Omnidroid and, uh, and, 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 and get his life back in, back, in, you know, super, back in the world of supers without being uh, uh, realized. But it turns out... Uh, Mirage is actually just a an assistant and is working for the real uh the real person uh syndrome well, who uh wanted to be Bob's a sidekick as a chi- as a as a child but then uh, suddenly um but was rejected so he's uh doing he become a super villain now um and so yeah um now uh the whole fam now when Helen uh, he- this talk this coverage that the Bob is uh, secretly uh returning to, into the world of supers uh, after the world of supers uh, um, after gone missing um, yeah now yeah the, the entire Parr family joins forces together to become superheroes uh, so yeah some superheroes and stop uh, syndrome so yeah uh, now now I mean the Incredibles uh I will admit that The Incredibles uh, isn't really a film that, that, that I grew up with watching. It's not really a film that I rewatched so often as a child, but The Incredibles is something that, that, that is very special to people. It is a film that uh, really speaks to a lot of people. Uh, and and yes, uh, this is you know, um, a different type of Pixar film, uh, not you know, the uh, Pixar film that, uh, you know, that, that you'd come to expect. This... Uh, even though th- this is the the sixth Pixar film, this is actually where uh, Pixar would uh, take uh, their A game to, to 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 the next level. I remember at one point I called I named this my favorite uh, Pixar film, uh, mainly because of just how much I love uh, superheroes uh, and uh, yeah. And when I actually started becoming a fan of superheroes, that's when I started you know, watching this movie and. Um, 
yeah, th- th- that's when when I started to watch this movie and, uh, well, not watch, but rather just uh, be like a massive fan of this film. I mean, I was, like what I said, I was kind of of a fan of this film back then, but it wasn't just it just wasn't really a Pixar film that, that I would uh, rewatch that often in comparison to like films like you know, um, Toy Story two and three or sorry about that. Uh, Sorry about that. The Toy Story two and three, or a Bug's Life. Uh, no, not really. Or Monsters Inc. Yeah, Monsters Inc. was the my, my uh, go-to Pixar film back then. And um, yeah. But I can I can totally see why this is a fan favorite Pixar film. Heck, there are some people who even go as far as calling this uh, their favorite. Uh, not only their favorite Pixar film, but their favorite superhero film in general, and quite possibly their favorite film ever um so on this uh, 20th anniversary of uh incredibles uh, i gotta say on uh, on rewatch this film still uh, holds up to this day um to, to this day uh now um now the 2000s um i think we can all agree that that the 2000s were 2000s was uh pixar's uh, peak year uh, as the 2000s um was was you know the, the the decade where uh Pixar would just uh be on top of their pride? Yeah, if uh, yeah, since yeah the nineteen nineties was uh, um Walt Disney Animation Studios here. Even though uh Pixar gave us you know the, the first two Toy Story films, uh, they were still outshadowed uh, by by uh, Disney because of uh, the the Renaissance era. But because of of how you know, di- how much of a different quality the the post Renaissance era is. Uh, Pixar is given their their time to shine for like when it comes to quality animated films and and yeah uh, with the exception of Cars which I am uh, not a fan of and I might and I am planning to review it uh, like during my uh, Pixar content month um content month um every single Pixar film that that came out in the two thousands uh, were uh, perfection uh, they were all uh, f- like you know all like perfect whether it's um monster yeah, from monsters Inc. to finding nemo to uh ratatouille to wally to up uh, yeah those are all masterpieces and heck uh, this was uh, the decade where um this was the the decade uh when uh, disney started to, to, to own pixar uh, specifically with the uh, ratatouille if you tell me it's Cars, uh, Cars was the first uh, Disney Pixar film. I am not gonna acknowledge it. I'd say, I acknowledge uh, Ratatouille as the, uh, as the first uh, Disney uh, Pixar film. Uh, but yeah, and, but out of all uh, the uh, Pixar films that that came out in the two thousands uh, decade, The Incredibles is, is on top of them all. This movie puts everything, every other two thousands Pixar movies to shit. It is the best of them all. Uh, what makes the incredible so special is how these is how not only this film but the entire franchise by the way what makes it so special is how um is how um it feels like um they feel like i'm watching a live action superhero blockbuster not a typical animated film the fact that pixar makes movies speak to adults but but entertaining to children uh is what makes uh the studio special and it proves that animation can be for everyone and yes, guys, like what I said, I do acknowledge that animated films, uh, animated films are for everyone, that anyone can, can watch them. It's, it's not like it's illegal for adults to watch them. I watch animated films, do you know? I mean, I literally just watch Inside Out 2, and I just feel like feel like a fanboy uh, coming out of it. Uh, man, I, I just wish that animation today, what, what, what was like this, uh, films like this. Uh, but no, instead we get... Instead, the uh, most of the anime animated films we get today are childish uh, garbage that talks down to it to its adult audiences, treating them l- like they're stupid. Uh, but yeah, at least we still get animated films like this once in a while. Um, yeah, where do I even start with all, with the aspects? Um, now I think we can all agree that the animation is uh, the uh, weakest part of the film. Sure. Yes. So uh, there are some, you know, uh, character desi- characters who are incredibly designed and still hold up. But uh, like Mirage, oh man, Mirage is so hot. Violet from Incredibles Two is still my Incredibles crush, but uh, 
I honestly would now have a crush on Marja more than uh, more than uh, Elas than Elastigirl. Yeah, Marge is so hot, and she's actually the one. She's actually that that one character design that actually feels like it it, it ages well to this day. It, it's just so incredible compar- in comparison to the rest. Uh, now, and yes, the the background is really good, the, and, and the special effects are great too. But the character designs, uh, yeah, I mean, they are the ones that feel a tad bit outdated. Uh, yeah, because it, it came out in the early two thousands. But then again, uh, mo- but but then again, the other a- animated films uh, are are like you know most of the other uh, two thousands animated films have better animation. With I think, with uh, Wally uh, being the best. Um, being you know, the best uh, having the best anime Pixar animation looking wise of the two thousands. Uh, yeah, it's not that visually stunning. Um, I guess it. I guess it's mainly. I guess it's probably because of uh, um, the um, because of Incredibles two. Because Incredibles 2's animation and character designs is just, it's just perfect. And when you compare Incredibles two's character designs to this one, yeah, you you, you can clearly see see uh, the. How, the, the outdatedness so uh, like i think a perfect example of this is is in the end where um where there's a scene where like you know, um tony and red Ridinger and violet par were talking and uh we're talking and all that stuff uh during uh dash's uh um race marathon um and yeah um yeah in incredibles one uh you can tell that it looked like a tech demo but in Crambles 2, that scene w- was improved. So, okay, well, I am not saying the animation is bad in the slightest bit. I think it, at least it wasn't distracting. And it, and it's not one of the worst animations uh, out there. But it's still, it's just noticeable that, that it is a bit dated. But it's still flawless, uh, n- nonetheless. Um, yeah, uh, the action scenes are absolutely intense. Uh, yeah, like there's just... Yeah, it it actually pl- it actually has plenty of action scenes uh, from the uh, the opening fight scene uh, at the prologue with uh, um Mission Incredible versus Bomb Voyage to Mission Incredible versus the Omni Droids uh, to all the uh, Syndrome fights and, and, and the Par family um no versus the Syndrome so go- guards the security guards and the the, the plane crash scene and the. Uh, the final battle, oh man, it is so intense. Uh, and and what really added that it, it is uh, one of Pixar's uh, most iconic scores. Period. Uh, from Michael Giacchino, this is Michael Giacchino's uh, best uh, um, score. Uh, pe- one of uh, Michael Giacchino's best uh, works. Period. Like, how can anybody not remember the score? You know, with a dun 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 dun. dun. How can anybody uh, not remember that score? Uh, even those who haven't seen Incredibles that might probably could could hear about this hear the Incredibles theme. Uh, and it it also has such quotable dialogue. The dialogue in this film is so good because of just how quotable it is. You know, quotable it is. Something like, um, "Honey, where is my super suit? Where is my super suit?" Yeah, the ultimate Pixar meme. Uh, and also you got you got also a uh, quote that, that that's often used in in YouTube reviews or, or specifically Ransom. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Ask him. Ask me why. Why not? Why be be more specific, Bob? Yeah. You know those you know uh, you know um, you know those you know lines in in, in the end of movies like every time someone is writing a film, uh, it will they would be like. I'm not happy studio not happy ask me why why not be more specific studio because this movie sucks yeah I hear yeah I get it a lot of, of times even I think I've done this a few times too uh and it actually never gets old uh, the bar family is one of the greatest the superhero teams ever uh and even on their own when they're not superheroes they they are one of the best uh um, movie families ever put to the media uh but but put to the media yeah um Mirage is, is probably arguably my favorite character in the film but I have to like actually think about that 
Oh wait, actually, um, I would say Mirage is actually tied with the, the character I'm about to talk about. Uh, and that is uh, Syndrome. Yeah, I'd say in my letterbox, I said that both Mir Syndrome is my favorite. But I think Mirage and Syndrome are both tied as my favorite Pixar. My favorite, not Pixar character, my favorite Incredibles character that I said. I mean, no way they're my favorite Pixar character. Uh, that would go to uh, Amber from Elemental. Um, yeah, um, I still stand by calling Anxiety the best Pixar antagonist. Now, keep in mind, antagonist, not evil villains. Uh, antagonist, uh, um, Anxiety was, was basically an uh, antagonist by textbook definition, which is, you know... Uh, a, a character um who opposes conflict from uh, the, the the protagonist that's like the kind of antagonist they went for with Riley, but when it comes to the ho oh, oh, ho oh, evil villains, so villains who you just love to hate, uh, and, and, and you just want to see them like like get get torn to shreds, Syndrome is the un, un, undefeatable villain. Yeah, yeah. Even if uh, Warren News is, is that good, and you can argue with other Pixar villains, uh. Syndrome is the absolute goat. Uh, he has such a unique character arc, uh, very unique th that stands out from the other villains because it feels so different. Where basically Buddy uh, wanted to be uh, Mr. Incredible's sidekick, uh, also kid by Incredible said Mr. Incredible is like no, I work alone, uh, which uh, hurts, uh, which hurts uh, um, his feelings, Buddy's feelings. So Buddy uh, becomes Syndrome and becomes evil. I forgot his whole villain motivation on why he went this path besides being rejected i'm sure there's something else but i can't really seem to point into words and yeah syndrome really feels threatening he, he has such a threatening presence and yeah you really feel that like he actually does want to get your super so that he, he can like take out take all the credit and, and and be the best super out there that's actually a great motivation for a villain like that uh, and frozen uh, yeah uh, Frozone is, is another standout with his famous line with Honey, where is my super suit? Uh, and yeah. Oh yeah, and also one of my favorite scenes in the film, uh, probably uh, beside, probably my favorite scene besides uh, besides uh, the Honey, where is my super suit uh, was when uh, Bob would uh, look into the, 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 this computer and um this co um computer and would would like search up you know names of other supers and, and it will find out that, that they're all terminated, and it turns out the uh, syndrome actually killed all those supers who who Bob saw on the list except Helen. Wow, that is just something right there. Um, and another one of my favorite scenes in the film is when uh, it is towards the end when uh syndrome uh, takes uh Bob, it, no syndrome takes not Bob but rather Jack Jack. Um, it really feels like when that uh, syndrome like took Jack Jack the moment they, they all ran into the house and I didn't see you know, uh syndrome is taking us uh, uh, taking Jack Jack it you really feel uh that feel intimidated about by, by syndrome you feel like oh syndrome wants to kill a baby oh he's going too far oh wait he he said he he wants Jack Jack to, to to turn he wants to turn Jack Jack to, into a villain yeah and then we see Jack Jack's powers revealed to the audiences uh when he uh later. When he tries to like uh, tear uh, Syndrome apart and then Syndrome uh, dies by getting hit by an airplane engine. Yeah, that is uh, that is a great scene right there. But but as great as the superhero stuff are, the main core of the film is not on, on that but rather on the themes of midlife crisis and the message of being, of being willing to sacrifice what you love uh, for more important things when you need to. Bob and Helen had to sacrifice their superhero lives uh, due to uh, supers being illegal, which caused crisis in, in their in them psychologically and 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 the, also their family to, uh, being dysfunctional as well. Uh, especially with Bob, I mean, you you really feel his midlife midlife crisis uh, throughout the throughout the first act of the film. Uh, when, uh, when 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 Bob was like very miserable with his job and and. Uh, he always had this uh, thought of you know oh I want to be a superhero again but 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 actually I can't but don't worry I will still find a way to, to become a superhero again and uh, superhero again yeah um and also the, the the themes of family are there too you know um 
even though the the the, the family themes may be a little generic from other movies that the, the, the tackle themes of family um uh, incredibles is one of those films uh that that does it the best oh and also for 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 a film that that's an, an hour and 55 minutes long uh the movie sure does uh make good use of its runtime. Uh, the pacing of this film is just flawless. Uh, there was never a scene uh, in this film that felt like a thud, even whether it is the midlife, cri- cri- mid-life crisis aspect or the superhero aspect. Uh, the film yeah, the, the film is engaging from start to finish. You don't feel the uh, one hour and 55 minute runtime. And, and uh, it resulted in just being uh, an animated film I love, an animated film that actually has a long runtime. Oh, and uh, Take Notes, Cars, uh, a, a, a uh, Pixar movie that, that desperately wanted to be their longest film, but actually uh, failed to make good use of the pacing, resulting it to be, resulting in it to be just extremely boring. Uh, yeah. So overall, The Incredibles is, is without question the best animated film of 2004 and rightfully deserved to win that Oscar. I know, I know that's debatable with Shrek 2, and, and I, I get if you side with Shrek 2 being the best animated film of the year. Although, yes, like what I say, uh, what, like what I said early on in the review, calling this the best superhero film is a bit of a stretch. Uh, it's not the best animated superhero film, as that would go to the Spider-Verse films, both Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse. Um, and, and Across the Spider-Verse, and, uh, it's not even the best superhero film of 2002. Uh, that would go to uh, Spider-Man 2. Oh, but, the incre- but regardless, The Incredibles is still perfection. I give The Incredibles a duh, five stars out of five. Uh, best uh, perfect movie. So yeah, once again, happy early... T- <coughs> Sorry. Once again, happy early 20th anniversary to uh, this film right here. Uh, so also for my review of the Incredibles, uh, what are your what are your your thoughts on the film? Uh, would you agree with me that this movie is a masterpiece? Uh, and uh, but not the you know, the uh, absolute best Pixar film. Uh, would you call this uh, your your favorite Pixar film? I know some people do, and I don't blame you. Uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my review on Incredibles 2. Boy, I cannot wait to review the underrated and superior sequel. So yeah, bye guys.